fight the power like Big Chuck. What's the status, three? I'm good, just making the world a better place, that's all. Book of Wisdom, Chapter 14, The Astral Plane. The astral plane exists alongside the physical realm, comprising both a divine solar level and a lower lunar level. The divine level holds the blueprints for all things, while the low level of the initial sphere the soul reaches after death. The astral plane lacks a natural landscape, appearing white and formless. It consists of astral matter. This substance can magically manipulate it, akin to proto-matter, to create thought forms. Objects created on the astral plane can eventually manifest in the physical realm. The astral plane is made out of mental thoughts manifesting into astral matter. The thoughts we think are actually things, hence why we say the famous saying, thoughts are things. The more mental power we give a thought, the more it manifests into the astral plane. Sigils and Symbols A sigil is a magical symbol used in esoteric practices, magic, often serving as a pictorial representation or signature of a deity or spirit, such as an angel or demon. The term sigil is rooted in the Latin word sigillum, which translates to seal. The thoughts we focus on can materialize in the fourth dimension. If we consistently hold onto a particular thought, it transforms into an astral form. The more emotional energy we invest, the stronger it gets. This principle applies to sigils too. Take corporate logos like Nike's swoosh. For instance, over years, millions of minds have given it mental attention and emotional energy. The symbol carries an astral energy created by the collective perception of the masses, which can be either positive or negative. Wearing sigils can either benefit us or negatively impact us, depending on what sigils we wear and keep in our eyesight. The planetary gods are not planets. They are seven cosmic energies that give off their unique energy and qualities to all that is upon the face of the earth. Where, where, wear their sigils if you wish to gain their virtues. The sigil of Saturn, structure and discipline. Sigil of the sun, life giver. Sigil of the moon, emotive. Sigil of Mercury, intelligence. Sigil of Jupiter, spiritual gifts. Sigil of Mars, protector of self. And the Sigil of Venus, love. There's four star systems there, and I have no clue who, what they are. Um, religion, hives, minds, and energy harvesting. The Holy Bible and other religious texts are crafted in a way that resonates with individuals at different levels of understanding. A child reading these scriptures might gain a simple, generic perception, emphasizing love and kindness. However, those versed in occult teachings or astrology may discern deeper metaphysical codes within the text, highlighting the subjective nature of interp interpretation based on one's awareness and realization. Directing thoughts, energy, and attention towards the deity Jesus Christ brings forth an entity within the astral plane. Organized religion functions as an energy harvesting tool for entities within the astral realm. Instead of advocating worship, we should be seeking to embody the qualities associated with Jesus in our life. 
Those in positions of power are orchestrating a collective consciousness or hive mind for the masses. The intent is to establish a global religion, unifying belief systems, and leading to the summoning of a demon within the astral plane. Black magicians often focus on the astral plane and their work, as it is linked to the physical plane through the subconscious and intuition. As we see here on the right, we got some free Masonic art, the two Masonic pillars, Joachim and Boaz, or the Eleven, or the, the book does get into the two pillars and the deeper meaning behind them. I don't want to ruin it, but I think, yeah, we pretty much want the left and the right brain and so on and so forth. Um, we'll get into that on uh, later chapters. And below it states, Events occurring in the astral realm have a direct impact on the physical plane. And conversely, actions in the physical world reverberate in the astral. The numerical representation of 11 symbolizes the mirroring effect, highlighting the interconnectedness and reflection of reality between these planes of existence. Chapter 15, Astral Projection Additional info before you astral project. The astral plane is the fourth dimension. It's the unseen of what we see. It is where thought form exists, mental images. It can be seen only by our mind's eye. You will experience being, beings and entities that match your frequency. So make sure you are vibrating as high as possible before trying to project. Everything you think of will manifest instantly in the astral plane, the fourth dimension. Your vision is the astral plane, will not be very clear when you first astral project. You have to work on strengthening it. You create demons. The ideas we mentally entertain can take form in the fourth dimensional plane. By entertaining negative thought forms for long periods, the emotional power we give this thought can manifest into a demon or daemon. Every single mental addiction you have is some demon you created within the astral plane. It grows the more emotion or energy in motion you give it. The word demon has mun in it, which means moon. Moon is mind. We create demons within our minds. How astral projection works. Your mind is the projector of the, your soul. Your soul is the experiencer, observer. When you astral project, you are using your mind to project the soul out of the physical body, the physical world, into the astral plane where there are no limitations of time and space. When you dream, your mind is projecting the soul into another reality while the physical body is resting. Practices for Astral Projection Lie down flat with no body parts touching. Rest every single muscle and be as still as possible. Close your eyes. Breathe deep in through the nose and slowly out the mouth. Meditate until you have lost all desires and the mind is empty of thoughts. Then focus your attention on the middle of your brain, pineal gland. Do this until you start to feel tingling sensation all over the body. The tingling sensation is your energy body, etheric body, being awakened. Now imagine yourself pulling a rope up into the sky. You may feel yourself being lifted out of the body. Do not be scared. 
Keep doing this exercise until you gain the ability to leave the whole body and discover the astral plane. As you can see on the left, you have the picture there of the silver cord. And it, it's kind of like when your mother was attached to you, you know, with the umbilical cord. It's similar. Um, when, when successfully astral projecting and desiring to return to your physical body, the process involves a simple act of intention. By directing your thoughts toward reuniting with your physical form and focusing on the idea of returning, you can initiate a swift transition, effectively guiding yourself back into your body. Jesus never walked on water. It is symbolic for leaving the physical body. The water is the ethereal plane, which is the veil between the physical world and the astral world. Jesus was walking on the top of the veil of the ether, astral projecting. When Jesus teaches Peter to walk on water, he is teaching him not to be scared or else you will fall back into the water. This is symbolic of when you are astral projecting. When you start to fear when you're projecting, you will be sucked back into your body. Matthew chapter 14 verse 29 states, He was afraid and beginning to sink, cried out, Lord, save me. Chapter 16, Body of Light, Merkaba. Mer is light. Ka is spirit, and Ba is body. It reminds me of the uh, Kabbalah, the Ka and the Ba. Celestial sphere to portray different planes of reality, the Merkaba. You got your male and female symbol put together. You got your six-pointed star. The vehicle of ascension. Mental, astral, physical. Neutralizing the duality of self by combining the upper and lower self. You are a soul that experiences different realities within the multiverse. In each plane, you take on different bodies. Your aim is to become a multidimensional creature and not to be bound to just one reality.